got to take spiritual risks. You've got to do things you never did before. Awkward things, uncomfortable things, and that's how you stretch your faith. Yes, you can talk to yourself, but that's not going to help much if you don't put some action to it. We can all talk to ourselves. We can all try and get out of our comfort zone, but it's only when we do it that we actually stretch our faith and we do something that we have not done before. We can be in the usual. And I know if I lay hands on you and release the anointing, the Lord will give me a prophecy. But am I able to do that in the street to a stranger that's drunk and half-clothed? How much worse can it get with those shoes on? Can you do it? Do you get me? You see, we are moved by what we see and the Holy Spirit ministers from the Spirit. Remember we learned about the heart and He ministers by the Holy Spirit, not by the eyes, what He sees. Romans 12 verse 13, each one of us begins with the same measure of faith. The same measure of faith. Everybody starts at the same place. So if Benny Him has increased his faith level and I haven't, it's not Benny Him's fault. I can't be jealous of Benny Him. I have to lay hands on the sick. And I always remember Ray McCauley saying the first five people we prayed for died. <laughs> and he said he had a choice. He could either stop or he could continue and pray. And he said the sixth person was healed. The seventh person was healed. And the rest is history. Everybody knows him for his healing ministry. So don't allow failures and stumbling blocks to stop you. 